Okay, clean it up four, I guess. This is an aside that we're really close to being able to plot our data, but I need to show you one more thing um, because this is the thing that trips most people up when it comes to applying what they've learned about tidyverse wrangling and plotting to their own data. If you can't do this thing I'm about to show you, then your ability to work with your own data and draw pretty pictures is likely to, um, to come up against a brick wall. So most of the time when we're entering our data in Excel, you enter it in wide format. What do I mean by that? Um, let me pull some data in here to show you. So we're going to use the tidyverse and we're going to use here. And I want to show you, I want to call in this wide beaches data and I'm going to do read underscore CSV. And I want to use here data. I have this data called beach bugs wide dot csv all right so the wide beaches data what i've done to create this data is averaged across year and across beach so this is the average bug levels for bondi bronte clove all across and this is what i mean by wide so you have all the values in these columns are the same. Um, they are all levels of bacteria, but the data is separated out. Um, the different beaches are in different variables, right? So R doesn't love this format of data. It's the way to go when you're entering your data by hand in Excel. So when I'm entering, I test kids on memory tasks and I this first column is often participant and then I want to get their um, memory score across different time periods and, and immediately 24 hours or a week or under different encoding conditions in different columns. It's the best way to enter your data but it's not how R thinks about data, particularly when it comes to plotting. So before you can plot your data in ggplot, you need to convert it from wide to long. What does long data look like? So I have um, the same data converted to long in this raw file. So it here. In the data file and it's called oops membrane quotes beach bugs long csv um whoops point so the long when you switch data from wide to long what you essentially do to it is pull all of the values into one column. So your dependent variable, whether that's bug levels or memory scores or gene expression or like it ratings, your DV values are all in one column, one long column. And then your other variables are. Um, uh, so these are observations and these are variables. So how do we make wide data long and long data wide? There are cases where you want to turn this long data wide because it's often much easier to do computations um, across um, separate variables than it is to do it when you uh, have all your observations in one variable. So sometimes you want to make long data wide, do a computation, and then make it go from wide to long again. We're not going to deal with that now. 
what I'm going to show you now is how to get wired data long and back again. All right, so the function you want to use to get wired data to be long is the gather function. So let's say we want to create a um, new, call this new long. And so we want to take the wide beaches data that we have and we'll type it into a gather function. Okay? So you can see here that the gather function is expecting you to enter the data. We've already told it what the data is because we're piping it in. The next thing it wants is a key. And a key is um, the column that you want to create by gathering all your data together. And so if we have a look at our wide beaches, what we actually want to do is pull all of these different sites into one single column. And so if we tell it that we want our key to be equal to site, right? The next thing it's expecting is values. So the value, um, the value column, we want that to be equal to beach bugs. So we want levels of beach bugs. And then it should work. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we have created a new long, oh dear, that isn't what I wanted to do. Okay, that's very strange. So it has put both the year, year, um, oh, you know what I forgot to do. Okay, this is illustrative. So one thing that we forgot to tell it is which columns together, right? So the last thing um, it's looking for, what is that again? Yes, right? So we've told it what the data is, that is, we're piping the wide beaches in. We've told it what the key is, we need to tell it values, but also which columns together. And so in this case, we uh, want it to gather from Bondi Beach through to Tamarana Beach. All right, so if we go Bondi Beach to Tamarana Beach. Let's see if that works better. Oh. Ah, that does look better. Right, so now we have a year, the site is the location of the beach, and then all of our beach bugs values are in one column, right? So let's write ourselves a little note. So we want gather wants to know one key is the name of the column um, you are creating. Two values is name of column with the B data in it. And then it wants to know the three, the range of columns together. Okay, so now in theory, we could take that new long beaches and make it um, wide again using the spread function. So if we say we want to say new, we want to make a new thing called new wide beaches, and we want to do that by taking the long beaches that we just created and piping it 
into a spread function. The spread is the opposite of gather. And what it wants to know is which column contains the key that you're going to spread across all of these columns and which column contains the values. So if we say we want, in this case, key equals site and value equals beach bugs. Let's see if we run that, what it does. It creates this new wide beaches that looks exactly like the data that we imported. All right, so just to summarize, when you want to make wide data long, you tell the gather function what the column that you're wanting to create is. So in our case, we had all separate variables for beach site. And so the column we want to create that differentiates between different values is a column called site. You tell it um, what the name of your values column should be. In this case, we want it to be beach bugs. And then you tell it the range of variables that you want it to gather into a long format. In our case, we wanted to take the Bondi Beach data um, through all the columns um, to the Tamarama at the other end. All right, good luck.